Hey you guys, it's Ruby. Now I have stayed at nearly every Las Vegas hotel and had some amazing experiences and places that I totally recommend. However, I've also had some really bad stays. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my top five worst hotels in Las Vegas. These are gonna be the ones that you need to avoid so you don't end up ruining your vacation. So let's get started with the least worst. The one that I think is not as terrible. <laughs> Let's talk about Excalibur. You can get a room at Excalibur for as low as $60 to $70 a night during the week. Now, the first time we stayed here, we were in an absolutely filthy room. We walked into a horror show. It smelled horrible. We did call down and they switched our room. It just has an overall feeling of shabbiness. It's gonna be very worn. I also noticed that the sheets feel like straight up sandpaper and the towels feel real rough. So you're just getting this kind of bare bones feeling to the rooms. On top of that, the casino floor. It is a large and lively casino. However, sometimes it can get a little stinky on the casino floor. Think like smoke, dirty diaper smell. It's, it's really not my favorite. The pool here is decent and it's large. The chairs, again, extremely shabby, very rickety. The main drawback on the pool is you are gonna have lots and lots of kids. Now, again, this is a family-friendly property. It's designed for people with kids. They have a whole bottom floor that is an arcade. It's for people to come and bring their kids and play while they go up and gamble. So you have to keep in mind that you're gonna see lots of kids running around when you are staying at Excalibur, which can be a drawback for some. I get why people stay at Excalibur, it's affordable it's not a bad spot and it is on strip but I think if you spend just a little bit more there are some significantly better options that smell a little nicer and feel a little bit better taken care of let's talk about my number four pick we are gonna talk about Rio this one does have a caveat that it has exchanged hands. There is a new owner coming in, so we'll talk about that. Rooms right now start at about 80-ish dollars over the week, so not crazy cheap these days. I have one word for you, and it's just abandoned. This place kind of felt like you were in a shopping mall in the zombie apocalypse. The casino floor was a ghost town when we stayed here. There was absolutely nobody around. All the restaurants were closed. Closed. The buffet is closed. Our room also felt incredibly dated. It was extremely 90s. Now the footprint of these rooms is amazing. They're huge and it was very clean. So the housekeeping is doing a great job, but it was a tired room. And the neglect kind of continues over to the pool. The pool is massive. I bet in its heyday, this pool area was the spot to be. And that is kind of the theme of the Rio overall. Back in its heyday, it was amazing. They have neglected the chairs. They have neglected the cabanas. Everything looks weather beaten to heck. And I'm hoping that one day maybe the Rio will become a place to be again because it did get taken over by Dreamscape. They're renovating. They are adding new dining. However, I do have to mention that the Rio is not in a good location. It is close to the Strip, but you have to walk over a highway overpass to get to the Strip. You can stay for this price point really close to strip or on strip. As of right now, it's just kind of this sad ghost town. And so it's one that I recommend you skip. Now for our number three worst hotel, we are gonna be downtown because this is by far the worst stay I've had. Downtown has really been doing a lot with their properties. They're upgrading rooms, they're renovating casinos, they're adding dining. They're really giving the Strip a run for its money in terms of a value vacation. But one property is not doing enough for me and we are gonna talk about Hotel Apache at Binion's. Room rates start here as low as $50 per night and they do not charge a resort fee. I think we got the worst room they have in this hotel. <laughs> 
It was very tiny. Uh, there wasn't even like any furniture really. There was actually no closet. So our ironing board was just kind of like floating in the middle of the room. The ceilings were kind of tall for how small the room was. So it felt very cell-like. And oh my gosh, there was an adjoining room and the crack in the door was easily three inches. So huge. You could totally feel like you were sharing a room with the people next door. It was not great. I also don't like the casino at Binion's. There are big empty spaces here and the lighting is off. It's kind of too bright in here and there's no music playing. So it's like very bright and very quiet which is a strange atmosphere to be gambling in. They used to have tons of awesome memorabilia and they've taken a lot of it out. I hope they do bring some of that back. They did bring back the million dollars and it is free to take a picture with that. So that is totally worth checking out and very cool. We ate at Top of Binion's. It's their steakhouse. The view was amazing. Our server was amazing. The food was just okay, unfortunately. Overall, I just don't find myself wanting to go into Binion's. I know it has a ton of history and I know people love this place, but in terms of a stay, downtown there are so many great options. And even the Four Queens, which Binion's owns, I actually enjoyed my stay at Four Queens. I just think you should skip Hotel Apache. to number two on our worst list. Let's talk about Circus Circus. I found room rates under $50. This is extremely affordable for being on strip. So the super nice lady at the desk put us in what she said is the good tower and our room felt so dated, so, so dated. We did have a duvet cover that had what I'm hoping was cinnamon roll icing on it. And they even have a sign that says like, if you take any of these items, Items you're purchasing them like so obviously they've had theft issues they're very tired the room is not great the pool again I felt like I was in the zombie apocalypse it's like in an abandoned parking lot and it kind of feels like an abandoned water park there's these really tall slides kind of area and then like a deeper pool but like all the signage and everything around the pool is incredibly weather worn it's very strange the buffet is absolutely abysmal it's so bad I feel kind of bad ragging on this place so much because it is kind of meant to be a family place and I know that's who it's for and it's not for me and I have to say the circus acts they are great they have a midway with midway games for kids and then they have the Adventure Dome, which is like a fun theme park for families. So when you're on the casino floor, you're seeing these big families pushing strollers with babies and also some sketchy people. There's just some sketch balls hanging out at Circus Circus. And the combination makes me feel incredibly uncomfortable. The whole casino kind of gives me a little bit of anxiety. I just do not recommend Circus Circus to you. I know it's incredibly affordable. I know it's got a family friendly vibe. There are definitely better places for you to be. Oh, my number one worst hotel in Las Vegas is the Oyo. You can find rooms here for $70 a night, which I have to say is insane. It should be no dollars a night to stay here. I am not exaggerating when I say everything that you could think to be bad about this place happened to us. We got stuck in an elevator. A fire alarm went off while we were staying here. The room itself was like a bomb went off. Every piece of furniture in our room was destroyed. The lamp was all racked, the curtains were ripped and then stapled back together. Our closet was broken, our entertainment center was broken, the sink was clogged. When I went to turn a shower handle, a, it fell off. <laughs> The room was a nightmare. It was a total train wreck. When we went down to the pool, there was garbage floating in it. There was caution tape and like the cover of a dirty magazine floating around in the pool. So that was really gross. The casino floor itself looks decent, but it is small. People come here because they have cheap beers and $1 blackjack. But guys, you can just go downtown to the downtown grand. That property is really nice and they have dollar blackjack and cheap beers. Gosh, I mean, guys, there were people sleeping in the hallway. It was so insane. If you haven't seen that video, go watch it. It is comedy. It's prime entertainment. For $70, you can stay on strip. 
and have a much better time. Um, so that is my list. Now, I want to have a disclaimer. If you've stayed at any of these places and you had a great time, that's great. I'm really happy for you. I'm glad that you had a good time there, but these are the ones that I personally think you should avoid. If you're looking for recommendations, I do have my top five best hotels for your money up on my channel right now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and entertaining, and I will catch you guys all in our next.